and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and uh, I'm here today, guys, on my new set that I created right in my own garage for my new mining channel. And I wanted to make sure that you guys know that uh, that channel is going to be going live here in about the next week or so. Uh, I'm going to be rolling out a whole lot of content. So if you're into mining, if you're interested in mining, whether it's for hobby or even for a professional uh, take on mining, you're going to want to be sure to check that out. Uh, right here I have a uh, mining rig that I built actually even just this week. Brand new one here, running 8 GPUs and uh, got a nice uh, dual PSU. Um, and uh, running on an Asus Z370 actually. So that's an exclusive right here uh, for you guys. Um, a lot of people don't know that the new chipsets are completely capable of uh, running eight GPUs. A lot of people are overpaying for the old uh, Z270s, um, but you can actually do it on the 370s, uh, in particular the P and the A. Um, now one downside to the A is that uh, you are going to uh, not be able to run an M2 at the same time um, as they have taken away one of those slots, um, but um, still can do eight GPUs, but you're gonna have to go the traditional hard drive or an SSD. So that's a hint for you guys, for you guys getting into it. Someone uh, watching this is probably going to save a lot of money because they listened. Um, and uh, not only that, you're going to future-proof yourself for future uh, GPU technology going with the latest Intel chipsets. So right there is the type of content that you're going to hear on my mining channel. You're going to get uh, insider information sometimes. I even uh, have a little of that in regards to what's going on with the actual hardware being produced by NVIDIA right now. Things like that I'll be covering. I'll also be covering a lot of how-to videos, uh, videos um, that cover um, very technical, um, you know, setting up a BIOS properly. Um, also things like how to pick the right risers for what it is you want to do. Um, there's all kinds of different types. I'll be doing uh, equipment reviews and things like that um, to help you guys be successful with either your hobby of mining or um, for those of you that are taking it seriously, I'll even be doing some traditional videos that you guys are used to with me at my computer, kind of walking you guys through exactly the pros, the cons of all different aspects, even when it comes down to how you uh, might calculate your return on an investment for mining and things of that nature. So I want to announce that first and get that out of the way. And I just wanted to test out the new set a little bit, checking out the a new lapel mic as well. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. I wanted to get a lapel mic because it can get really loud when you're mining and I'm going to be uh, deep down into the dark regions of miners uh, pointing at wires and doing all kinds of crazy things that I said, you know what, it's going to be best in the long run if I get a lapel and just kind of make sure you guys can hear me throughout all the chaos and the noise. Things can get crazy when you're mining. So let's go right to the news real quick because that's probably why you're here. Today was an amazing day. Everything is up today. It's a day of green. We finally hit the bottom, or have we? We're, we are going to probably feel some type of consolidation period. I'm going to guess that it lasts till about uh, at least two, two weeks, uh, three weeks at most. I'm looking, I'm eyeing around uh, February 20, 21st, my, uh, personally, um, just because that's usually how long it takes in my experience. You're looking at two to three weeks consolidation period um, after a big correction like we just had. So you guys are going to want to be making sure that you are uh, um, Paying attention to the markets. If you're going to be investing, there's going to be plenty of opportunities as we consolidate. Uh, don't panic. Don't panic that it's going up and you're like, oh my gosh, we finally hit the bottom. It's going up. No, 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 no. We could retest that 200-day moving average yet again. It's a very, very strong 200-day moving average. Um, and uh, right now, that's sitting around still about $7,500. So we still could go back down and touch that again. So just because we have one day of green out of having uh, you know a couple weeks of red, uh, don't get too excited, guys. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay right now. I'm actually trying to test out the mic and not talk too loud and not get as loud as I typically do just to see how it picks it up. Um, also, I'm doing this one quite late tonight and uh, don't, don't want to don't upset anybody that's trying to sleep for sure. Um, 
other things in the market right now that I have my eyes on right now, you know, I'm really, really looking for some deals um, in regards to uh, Ether prices. There are some fantastic utility technology and tokens out there that are on sale right now. You're going to want to actually go and you're going to want to look at the Ether price. You're going to want, um, outside of uh, Ethereum, you're going to want to look at uh, BTC price. Guys, I've been talking about Boss Coin. Boss Coin right now just uh, went on uh, Qcoin. If you're interested and been wanting to pick up that coin, you can finally get it. Uh, a lot of liquidity in the market. A lot of people are selling right now uh, because they finally have the opportunity to sell. Um, it was on hit uh, BTC for a while. It didn't. Uh, basically, they locked up the trading and they locked up the wallets, um, and so the price was way off. And the price was way wrong for a long time. Um, it was super manipulated, and, and, and it really was meaningless, to be honest. Now we have it on a legitimate exchange, QCoin. You can go there right now, um, very easily. Set up an account. You don't have to even do any additional verification if you just want to put your hands on the coins as soon as possible. Um, you can get your hands on the coins and you can go create a wallet. I know that a lot of you, um, after my boss coin mentioned, went and did the research and got really excited about it and have been looking to get involved with it. I'm letting you know right now, make sure that you go check out boss coin. Um, if you haven't checked out boss coin, you are missing out. You are missing out on a very big opportunity. And it's for you to decide if it's a good investment opportunity. It is so early that the smallest amount of investment could reap returns similar to an Ethereum over the last two years. So you're going to want to make sure to take a look at that. I'm a huge fan of the protocol system that they're doing and the way that they're doing privatized um, uh, what they call trust contracts. You guys are familiar with smart contracts. Take that same concept except to make it so that you can actually interact with a contract. It works as intended but it's completely private, completely anonymous. No one has a clue that you interacted with that contract um, and uh, that's it. So there's a bunch of value in that. We're not talking about illegal activity. We're talking about when a corporation needs to work with another corporation on a uh, distributed uh, consensus ledger and they want to actually transact with each other. It's really, really important that um, in a lot of cases, the information going from point A to point B, no one sees, not even the employees sometimes, because it could be something like your data, your customer's data. So it's really, really important technology. It's cutting edge. Um, I'm really excited about it. I think the technology is kind of like an Ethereum 2.0. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it will replace Ethereum. I don't think Ethereum is going to get replaced for a while, guys. Ethereum is as, as if um, it's like version, the original Windows um, or the original DOS actually is probably more close to what I'm talking about, right? More like a um, MS-DOS back in the day. Um, you know, we have EOS coming out now. That's more like an operating system. Um, so this is like uh, MS-DOS on steroids. Um, it's going to allow some amazing um, tools to be built on it that actually fulfill a need that Ethereum just can't do right now. Um, the governance system I'm really a big fan of. Um, I think that it's well built. Uh, the team looks uh, pretty solid from what I can tell. Um, I'll be honest. It's not super transparent. Um, just because we're talking about a team overseas, I don't speak their language. There's not going to be a lot of content translated to English and things like that. So it's tough for me to really have a strong opinion other than that the white paper um, in general, very well done. They actually have two white papers. They have one that's actually very technical and then one that's just uh, for the average day user. And I will say this, even the um, average day user one, you're going to need it to be pretty technical if you're not familiar with blockchain technology. If you haven't spent a lot of time reading white papers, you're going to be pretty lost pretty quickly. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Do not invest in it because I talked about it. Do not invest in it just because I believe it has potential. Do your homework. Do your research. There's a lot of time in these things, guys. This isn't like you're missing the boat. Um, in fact, if you just kind of wait, you can probably even buy it for cheaper than it is now. Right now, it's sitting under a U.S. dollar, roughly. Yesterday, it was about 80 cents. It hit as low as, I want to say, about 60 cents for a moment. I'm off to go double-check those numbers, but it got really low, and um, there's a big buying opportunity because basically, once it finally came out on the market, all the people who were on the ICO basically just went ahead and dumped um, what they've been holding because a lot of people get impatient. 
And so there's this big, awesome opportunity. I cashed in on. I made sure to buy that dip. Um, it was a it was a good move for sure. I'm already up about 15, 20 percent. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. But those impatient people. I don't know what to say about them. I don't know what to say. It's it's unfortunate. I don't know how someone can make an, an investment decision um, if serious as an ICO um, and not expect to have to sit there and wait for long-term rewards. It's really fascinating how many people out there in the world are investing in these technologies and uh, don't have true um, investor minds and uh, truly understand the economics. I think that um, ba basically um, there's too many people out there right now just trying to get rich qu quick in cryptos. Um, that time is over, guys. The get rich quick time is coming to an end really fast. Now, that doesn't mean um, it's going away. And I guess by quick, I mean, you know, the uh, altcoin going from uh, a thousand rank to, you know, top 100, um, you know, quick is it, it, you know one year feels like forever so i guess you still can get rich quick um, but i feel like people are still chasing those 100 percent gains overnight um, and that's not right um, those things aren't going to happen as often anymore you have a lot of you have a lot of government pressure now with things like i uh, know your customer a lot of these icos are giving into it why because they're smart because they know that the governments are going to come and they're going to oppress them and demand documentation they're going to want to know who's invested in this so they can come take their money they're going to come get your money it doesn't matter it doesn't matter, guys, what you own. They will eventually come and get your taxes. Um, they're going to have to, especially when the U.S. dollar or whatever fiat you use may not be wor worth anything. And now that may sound all crazy and like I'm trying to scare you guys, but don't live in a bubble. Do I challenge you to refuse to live in a bubble. There are countries around the world right now that are having some serious fiat currency problems. you got Venezuela, basically on the past the brink of disaster it is a disaster um, you know they're actually issuing a cryptocurrency based off their oil prices mm -hmm. just to try to get the country going again on something that the government can control um, then you've got um, what's the other country? Italy Italy even this year could actually die um, as, as far as it's concerned in its current fiat situation. So don't live in a bubble, guys. I don't know where you live in the world. I know that a huge part of my audience actually um, is from all over the world, and I appreciate all the international people that come. It really inspires me and gives me an understanding of what it's really like around the world. It helps me get out of the bubble. I encourage you to continue to get outside your bubble and make sure you understand that just because things where you are um, may be fine today, Day. It's a lot of chaos out there in the world, and these type of concepts are very real to people, and people are desperate um, to, for the solutions that cryptocurrency, blockchain technology offers. So, anyhow, guys, that's all I've got for tonight. I didn't want to keep this video too long. I appreciate you coming on the new set. I'm looking forward to uh, maybe doing some more videos out here with you guys. And um, again, make sure that you're looking for that uh, new mining channel. It is going to be called um, either, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to call it Dew Mining and keep it simple so that people can correlate Dew Mining to King of Dew and we can just talk like that. I was also thinking about doing something like the, um, you know, the uh, mining dude, but you know, the SEO gods don't like when you make up words like that. So for the sake of actually the, the videos being seen and uh, actually being able to help people with mining and things like that, wanted to uh, make sure I have an easy name to remember. And again, I'm hoping that that channel also brings more people to this channel so that we can actually start focusing on um, things like cryptocurrency and blockchain solutions after we're done building our rigs. Because I've never met a miner that didn't decide to just hodl after they got into the space. I think everyone sits down and does their return on investment calculations. Um, by the time they're done purchasing, building, and investing into the space, they have um, transcended into a new human being that understands um, just how powerful this technology can be in changing the world. And that's what this channel is all about. It's talk about
about those things, is to bring uh, different opinions together, different ideas together. Um, that's what it's all about, and that's why I love doing this channel, because I actually get to let it out, because there's not that many people I know in my life that I can let it out to. You guys are it. You guys are why I do this. I love the comments. Make sure you leave one down below if you have any questions about the channel, or any questions about what I talked about today. I'd be happy to answer your questions. But the most important thing in the world is that you like the video, because YouTube likes it when you like the video, and that makes it so that they share it with other people like you and me, and those people can come and join this awesome community. I tell you what, guys, there's a lot of YouTube channels, but I've never seen a channel like this one where people come together and we really research the coins together. You know, we go out and we read the white papers, we talk about it in the comments, we ask questions, we help each other. If you're brand new, this is a place for you where you can feel safe. The people here are mature, we don't have trolls. We will eventually get them, but this is gonna always be a place where you can come and get help, get advice, and you don't have to be scared to ask the questions. We wanna help you, and uh, if there's no one else in the world that will help you, um, I'll even make a video to help you if there's no content out there. I will do my best to try to fill that gap for you guys uh, when I can. So again, thank you for being here, guys. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, the little bell button below. If you're new to YouTube, you click the bell button and then you actually get notified every time I do a video and uh, that way you don't miss out on any of the wonderful content or the wonderful discussions that we have in the comments below. All right, guys, that is it. I appreciate you so much. I hope this video turns out because I just spent all this time doing it. And, uh, you know, I tested the mic, so hopefully everything sounds good on your end. Anyhow, guys, that is it. And I appreciate you so much for coming. And as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.